Hi guys, Brian here with The Gun Shop, and today we're gonna talk about knives some more. And uh, specifically, we're gonna talk about knife steels, the different kinds of categories there are, uh, some good ones, some bad ones, some great ones, and we'll kinda go from there. The first one we're gonna talk about is this invisible one here that we don't carry at the shop because they're absolutely horrible. These are your gas station knives. Yes, they are. The blade steel on these is usually not written on the blade anywhere. It's usually something that says like stainless or super stainless steel or something crazy like that. They're usually under 30 bucks. Sometimes people try and rip you off and make you pay 50 bucks for a knife. Usually find them gas stations, gun shows, things like that. These are ones you really do want to try and stay away from. Mostly not good knives. The steel will dull quickly. It can rust. Um, it's usually something you'd get on like a butter knife. Honestly, in your kitchen, that's the same kind of steel that it usually is. Try and stay away from those guys. Um, other than that, knife build quality can change depending, but usually the steel's pretty garbage. Second ones we'll talk about is something you see a lot at a lot of gun shows and a lot of gun shops, and that's gonna be your value Chinese steels. Sometimes they're Japanese steel, sometimes you even have some value US steels. This one's in 8CR 13 MOV, which is a uh, Chinese steel. And this is a good little knife. This is a Krishaw Natrix. The steel is just average though. So you'll have okay edge retention. So edge retention is when you're uh, you know, cutting something with a knife, how quickly it dulls, right? That's considered your edge retention. Uh, by the way, we use cheat sheets because I can't remember everything. I got packets of them all over the place. That's how I uh, keep them straight in my head. But uh, edge retention is something you look at. And the other thing you look at is toughness and corrosion resistance. Those are the big three. Toughness is like if you were cutting something that was kind of hard like a piece of wood or cardboard or something and you roll an edge or you chip an edge, that's your toughness. So the toughness on this is not gonna be that great. The corrosion resistance is actually pretty good on these. ACR has a fairly corrosion resistant steel, um, but it's just not gonna hold an edge forever and it will kind of roll and chip easily. That's 8CR, you'll usually find these on like your CRKTs, on your, your uh, Chinese made Kershaws, uh, some of the SOGs, stuff like that, I take that back, SOGs are OS8, that's another one. So OS8 is another one that I would consider, you know, like a budget value steel, or like 440, a lot of people know like your buck knives, your old school buck knives, those are in 440. They all kind of have similar characteristics in those steels. They're just good, they're not great at anything, they're just decent, they're, they're good value. So if you're planning on losing it or breaking it, it's a good blade, or if you just want to stay on a budget, that's a great one to get. Next jump up is like a, an in-between category for me. It's like uh, you can get some very expensive knives in this category. These aren't what I consider super steels. This would be a super steel. This is like a 154 CM. You'll always see these listed on the blade. If they don't list it on the blade and they're just kind of giving you a name or a number off the top of their head, it's probably not true. But um, these are usually really good in one area and maybe not as good in some of the other areas. So like 154, for example, is very laterally tough and very corrosion resistant, but it just holds an okay edge, but it does sharpen easily. So this is a knife steel you will see on some very expensive knives, but it's not really considered a super steel. Um, you'll see this on a lot of camping knives or fixed blade knives. You'll see this on knives like this one where they're meant to be overseas and beat on really bad. Um, what's another good, let me grab my cheat sheet here. Yeah, so like VG10, that would be one that you would, I would kind of consider in that like in-between type knife steels. Some of these knives can be like 60 to 80 bucks, up to 300 bucks, 200 bucks, depending on who made it and what's it made out of. But the steel itself is usually just really good in one category. It might be edge retention, it might be corrosion resistance, like these, uh, these Spyderco salt knives, you know, those you basically can't rust, but they don't hold an edge forever. Um, and that's what I kind of consider the you know, that in-between tier between your budget Chinese stuff and your super steels. They're kind of in-between. They tend to excel great at one thing and not at the rest. And then you tend to get into these guys here, uh, what I call super steels, a lot of people call them that. Uh, these knife steels, almost all of them, are gonna be at least really good in every category, if not great in a few categories. Uh, this being our favorites here at the shop, this is CPM 20 CV steel. Something like this, you're gonna have insanely high edge retention and lateral toughness, as well as very good corrosion resistance. So hard to rust, you can't really roll the edge or chip the edge that easily, and it, the sharpness is gonna last forever. You're not gonna have to sharpen your knife very often. I carry mine every day still. It's my baby, it's my box cutter. But these guys, um, CPM 20 CV, Bowler M390, things like that. Um, S90V, that's another big one. S35VN, even S30, that's really high up there. Uh, that is where I would kind of consider it 
the super seal's kind of starting. You're gonna get great edge retention again. Most of them, some of them have really high edge retention, like S90V, but they're not as tough. They can chip or roll easy. Um, but most of them are essentially really, really good at everything. That's kind of the idea behind it. These do tend to cost more. The steels cost more. The knives don't always, because a knife, you know, you could have a budget-friendly knife that doesn't cost two, three, four hundred bucks, but still has some nice steel on it. Uh, but yeah. Those are uh, a quick rundown of all the different knife steels, guys, and if you guys want to come check them out and learn more about them, I will use my cheat sheet and we will go over it together and show you some of the benefits. But yeah, come check us out. We're open 10 to 6 during the week, 10 to 4 on Saturday. See you.